Hello, 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 and welcome once again to another episode of Scam for Jesus, Lose Your Soul. And you know what is happening today, my God. Glory of God Church has finally gotten back possession of their church. And let me tell you, today is April the 17th, 2023. And I am so happy that one of my good and best friends called me and we were able to go over there and rejoice with Glory of God Church to witness this man named Lamore Whitehead be removed from the property. And let me tell you something. How many of you all know that when God has his hand on his people, no weapon that is formed against them is going to prosper. And so what I am about to bring to you now is exclusive footage that I basically just finished shooting and filming at Glory of God Church. And yes, this time I did bring my video camera to basically take the footage and to basically capture this um, situation in real time. Why? Because the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But we serve a God that never fails. So in this footage, you are going to see Lamore Whitehead being escorted out the building. And you are going to see the police officers um, have to basically escort him around the church to retrieve some of his items. And you are also going to see, I am going to show you the first video that you are going to see is going to be the beautiful pastor of the church. Now, let me tell you, these are real godly people. They were so beautiful when I got there. I told them who I was and they had such compassion and they were so sweet and kind. And let me tell you, the spirit of God is on these people and they welcome me with open arms. And the pastor of the church gave me a little tour of his office and the area in which Lamar Whitehead has essentially, my God, destroyed these people's church. It is, when I tell you, it is so heartbreaking what you are about to watch. Number one, the first video that I'm about to show you is going to be the pastor's office area and the trustee room. The more Whitehead has stolen the safes that had about $100,000 in this room. And they don't know where the safes are. He, once again, Lamore White had stole the safe. And the safe, um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there were four safes. And they, the safes had money in them. And the pastor of the church says the money had up to the amount of $100,000. So once again, we have a man who not only stole these people's church, but he also stole the money, oh my God, that was in the safe. Well, he stole the safe, so I'm assuming, allegedly, he may have stolen the money. And so that's going to be the first video that you are about to watch. And I just thank God that Gloria God has gotten the victory today. And this was a powerful, powerful lesson on spiritual warfare. That when you put your trust in God, the Bible says that vengeance is mine, says the Lord, and he will repay. So watch this footage. And I made this the first footage because I want you to see the diabolical nature of this man, Lamar Whitehead. He went inside these people's church and tore up the church as if he owns this building. But God is going to continue to get the victory in Jesus name. You see? Oh my God. So this is so here. demonic. He, can, he act like this is his he acting like this is his place. Five bank cops do not pay the money. Five bankruptcy. Because Oh my God. No, he went to five bankruptcy. Because he to five bankruptcy. Because he to five bankruptcy. He's trying to rent this out. He's trying to rent this himself. He's trying to fix it. Oh. So he rent it out so he can get some more money. Oh, no, wow. I thought he was going to wow. It looked like he Watch out, there's like, like some wires there, so just be careful. Oh my God. See, this is our finance room. They break oh into it. Oh my God, they broke into that? You see, just watch, please. This is my office. This oh place, my God. We have the safe. The safe is here. Oh my God, the safe was there? Yes, this is where the safe is. You oh my see, God. You see how you see the key And he the took safe. the safe? He took this, we have three safes. Oh my God, he took, he took all three saves? He took all the three saves. 
Oh my Save. God! Yeah, we are saving the building that we keep him. Of yeah. course. Oh my! And you had money in there? The money we are looking is over hundred thousand. Over hundred thousand? Oh my God! No, but, uh, we've been keeping it for long. It's a big save. Oh my God! The, if you look at this building, you should know that it's well secure. Yeah, it is. If, if, if somebody don't have good access into I wonder how he opened the no, safe. He came, with, he he came with the people. Oh my God. This is so wicked. Oh my God. This is what Lamar Whitehead, call himself a bishop, has done to glory of God church. He has tore up the people building. He showed that we have 16 cameras mm -hmm. in the building. Right. Oh my God. He shot, when they, the first night he came in, they shut down all the cameras. Because he didn't want you to see, be able to see they what Oh my the God. They pulled down, the, they were looking for oh, the head. Why he picked this one? They break all the ceiling. Everything. Oh my why God. He this one? What, why he picked this one? I don't know. He has been here. This is so December. evil. I know. We have been paying. Down, I know. We, have, we have been paying the, the light. Okay, the light. The, and you uh, no bills. gas, and you've been paying all the bills. We've been paying. If we, we check the calculation, it's almost five five thousand. Oh my God! Because we don't know free. what is. We, we now we now know why the bill went up. Up. Oh that my is, God! They brought some machines that yes. they brought using to. Oh to my God! I don't want to leave. destroyed this church. He destroyed these people church. He don't want to leave. And he doesn't want to leave. He's still walking, Jesus. telling somebody, Lord. leave the computer alone. See. Look at this. Wow. Oh my God. You know how much it's going to cost to get these people church to be um renovated? Oh my God. Look what he, this is so wicked. This is, this is lie. This is Tasha. Scam for Jesus. Lose your soul. This is what Lamar Whitehead has done to glory of God church. He has torn up these people church. He has stolen the safe. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now, in this video that you are going to watch, you are going to see Lamore Whitehead, and this is a short clip, but in this portion of the video, Lamore Whitehead um, came back into the building to retrieve more items. And in my opinion, he's stalling because he's still trying to hold up these people from not getting his church. Well, he goes into the back of the church and most of the church members are now filming because no one trusts him. And the cops have to escort him around the building. And so as he's going in the back of the building, uh, myself and a few of the other church members and my, my best friend was there. He's upset now. And he's agitated because he's being filmed. And he, this is another example of how he disrespects black women. He calls one of the church members who was videotaping um, the F-A-T word fat, right? And from what I see, he just doesn't have any respect for black women, and he continues to verbally abuse black women. Watch this. This man is really stalling. Where is he going now? Can we can we record that? Record anything you want. Anything you want. Thank you. You are so handsome. Thank you so much. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, too much, 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 too much
Yeah. Deacon at the church. My sister is one of, she's on the choir. Mm -hmm. So I've been here for a long time. We are at Gloria God Church and welcome to Scam for Jesus Lose Your Soul. And in this series, we are celebrating uh, Gloria God has gotten your church back. Yes, and we are magnifying the name of the Lord because only he can do something like this, Amen. right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Now, in this portion of the video, what you are about to watch is you are going to see Lamar Whitehead. Yes, he's coming back and forth inside the building doing what? Stalling and holding up the atmosphere, holding up these people, trying to get their church back because he's trying to retrieve items one by one. And he's trying to... Um, hold them up by any means necessary by taking one thing at a time and the thing that i find very interesting here is how many of you know that before when he had something to do he came with a crew of people now all of a sudden there's nobody else there with him so he's going in there taking things one by one but god continues to get the victory and he's basically really agitated because he's being filmed and these church members who have the spirit the real, real and true spirit of god were praying and videotaping him and it was basically making him very uncomfortable and the police officers that were there they had a very calm nature to um to them and i i noticed this is just what i picked up that they could see right through him so the next footage that you are about to see is lamar whitehead basically stalling and holding up these people from getting their church back trying to retrieve more items <laughs> What is he stalling for? He's taking his sweet time trying to get all of this equipment. Look how long it's taking him to get all this equipment together. This little bit of equipment. He's leaving again with his stuff. Where is he going now? What's over there? Somebody's supposed to follow him over there. Oh shoot, what's going on now? Oh shoot. The more white has just gone down in these people's basement. Sorry. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, so this is the man right here now. He is uh, coming from out of the church basement doing God knows what. He had to retrieve some items. You see how God gets the victory? He gotta leave in the name of Jesus. He's just doing another stolen right now. Where is he going right now? Is he trying to take this big gold chair? What is he trying to do? Take this big chair? Or he wants to take his bishop staff? He's trying to take the bishop's staff now. No, this is. This is. We would oh, never buy something. <laughs> He's taking his bishop's staff. I never seen that. You see that this man. This is a man that calls himself a bishop.
Now he's coming to retrieve the bishop's staff. He's taking his sweet time taking this bishop's staff. Okay, any moment now. He's leaving. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> he even wants to take our money. Look at him right here. No, but you know what's funny? Before everything in here was his. Mm -hmm. But now he's saying, no, that's not mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. You got it now. <laughs> this man does not want to let these people church go. This is satanic and demonic. He called himself a bishop. Hello. Yeah, he's finally admitted to stuff not being his. What is he doing up there? Hello. Hello. Listen, look, he's taking his. his hello. Hello. Stop saying hello. I'm talking to you. Hello. Oh, yes. Being Right now he's trying to detach everything because he wants to try to take things that he's saying is his. Look at him. I just don't want to, this is the most expensive thing over here. He's saying that this is the most expensive thing over here. He's driving a road. He's not exiting the building. They told him to take his stuff, right? He has to take his stuff now. He's leaving the building. It is something else. It's all He's leaving. The demon is leaving. The demon is leaving. Yeah, he's stalling. He's stalling. The more white head is now stalling. So you see, he's here stalling. So he's wasting taxpayers' money by having these all these cops here while he stalled to try to get things that 
holding up these people um property why is he recording? We don't know. You want to keep a house in He's going. He's recording because he's going to miss what it's like to be inside of a real church. He, to, he needs to put this to like. Why is he recording that chair? He know what that chair looks like. Be for real. I'm the owner of this building. I got nothing. Oh. <laughs> and so basically, what I'm going to show you now is just me doing a little vlogging. Uh, the people who were in, who are the, the true members of Gloria God Church are some very nice people, very kind people. Um, they are godly people without a question. And what I love is that even though Lamar Whitehead Spirit was there trying to be demonic and trying to cause confusion, the pastor of the church had the members to remain calm. Because how many of you know that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers and the rulers of darkness which dwell in high places. This is a not a, a fleshly battle, but this is a spiritual battle. And so he told them to just remain quiet, remain prayerful, because the spirit of the Lord was in the atmosphere. And let me tell you something. One thing I noticed about Lamar Whitehead today, he is not comfortable around the true spirit of God. It makes him uncomfortable and it makes him agitated. And another thing that I noticed today is that he could not manipulate the situation. He could not manipulate or lie his way out of the situation. And even though he was being evicted and had to be removed today, he was still saying that this was his church building. And this is a true science of a narcissist. They never want to let anything go. Um, but God got the glory. And so continue to watch this additional footage of Lamar Whitehead being finally removed from a church that he took illegal possession over in Jesus' name. So the police actually have to escort Lamar Whitehead around while he's getting his stuff because... Um, they have to provide the they have to um be with him while he's uh retrieving my lipstick is so on the line today anyway they have to be with him while he's um retrieving his items so once again welcome to another episode of scam for jesus lose your soul and in this episode the more whitehead is being evicted from glory of god church amen so we are here at glory of god church and i am so excited that glory of god has gotten their church back the spirit of living God has won once again, and Lamar Whitehead has been defeated. How many of y'all know that there is no more powerful weapon than the weapon of prayer and fasting? How many of you know that no matter what demonic spirit will try to come up against you, once you put God first, God will continue to get the victory. So I am so happy that glory of God has finally gotten your church back. But guess what? I will not stop praying. I will not stop fasting until Lamar Whitehead is behind bars when he, so he could stop harassing and victimizing our community in Jesus name. Hello, hello, hello. Well, this now concludes another episode of Scam for Jesus Lose Your Soul. And I didn't really come with, um, a lesson today, well, maybe the lesson today would be, I would say that when you hold your peace, the Lord will continue to fight your battle. And another lesson will be vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And how many of you know that sometimes when it doesn't look like God is winning the battle, he is actually fighting the battle for you in the background. And God is going to continue to get the battle, not just for glory of God church, but to all the victims of Lamar Whitehead, my God. So I am so happy to bring this um, exclusive footage to you and it was such a blessing to interact with some of the members from Gloria God Church who are um, very nice godly people they are doing the work of the kingdom in our community and I am so happy that once again the battle has been won by the kingdom of God because we there are two kingdoms the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness and once we begin to put on the whole armor of God and we be able we are able to stand, having done all to stand, putting on our 
a breastplate of righteousness, putting on the whole arm of God, the helmet of salvation. And we have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We have our feet shod with the preparation of what? The gospel of peace. That God will begin to move on our behalf. So today was a victorious day for glory of God church. And I am so, so happy that God was able to vindicate and to set the captives free and to release what, God, what does not belong to the enemy. And the Bible says that he's going to take back everything that the enemy has stolen. And so for that, Gloria God has won the battle today and I will continue to pray for them. This has been um, an intercessory prayer assignment for me since the year of 2016. And I am so happy to see that God is moving now and causing this individual and all of his demonic satanic act antics to be exposed not only through social media but also by those who have taken on the assignment by vlogging who have youtube pages and through the mass media to bring attention because we are in a community that does not deserve to be taken advantage of by someone who calls himself a man of god or someone who claims to be a bishop so i thank god for even my assignment and i will continue to report and compile content that will bring light to what is going on in my community because why this is a social justice initiative and the enemy has been very angry that I am continuing to move forward in my assignment but how many of you know that I am a tree planted by like I'm a what is it I'm a like a tree planted by the rivers of living water and I shall not be moved and the only person hallelujah that can get me off of my assignment is God because he is the one that put me here and you want to know something that is very interesting we have so many people that have gotten into this assignment with the more whitehead since the church robbery but there are people like me there are people who have been on this assignment before he made before they even knew about him with the church robbery because of all the things that have been going on in this community so i thank god for being obedient and this is why no devil in hell is going to scare me out of my assignment no devil in hell is going to shake or shift me and i will continue to do all that god has for me to do and so you are in the marketplace chamber where i teach spiritual equipping tools and what would be a lesson today behind all of this it is to stand, having done all to stand. And when you do not know what else to do, you call on the name of God. You call on the name of Jesus. And in the marketplace, prayer is a powerful weapon. And when you add fasting to it, you will become unstoppable. And so whatever God has called you to do, stay on your assignment. This is my prophetic word of encouragement today. I don't care how it looks, whether people talk about you or they call you crazy. Remember, what God God has called you to do he will bring you through it and he will exalt you in due season so do not shake and do not move out of what God has called you to do because the enemy will try to rise up against you and how will the enemy do that through gossip through slander and trying to ruin your reputation but when you are a true child of the most high God he will continue to protect you because what they fail to understand they are not coming up against you my God they are coming up against God because God is the one who gave you the assignment. So be encouraged, dear one. God is going to do something new in your life. And as I move forward in this assignment, the marketplace chamber will continue to bring forth not just teaching on this scam for Jesus Lose Your Soul series, but I am going to come to you with marketplace equipment tools that will spiritually help you advance in the marketplace. So stay encouraged as God begins to do something new in your life. And it is such a great thing to bring this content to you. Once again, my name is Prophetess Tarsha Howard, and I am bringing you, yes, another episode of what? Scam for Jesus, Lose Your Soul. This is actually episode seven. I am releasing it early because I have a full episode for episode six that is coming up after this. But I had to release this today because the Holy Spirit is pressing me that this must come out today. So once again, I thank you for tuning in to Scam for Jesus Lose Your Soul, Episode 7. Goodbye.